Hi folks, it's Daniel here at Chicago Music Exchange, and of course I'm joined by... Tanner. So, let's kick things off. Les Pauls, what's your favorite Les Paul riff? Oh, You have to choose one. You got five seconds. Five seconds. Uh, I'd probably go with Zeppelin, uh, the one I just played a few minutes ago, Custard Pie. Or Custard Pie? Is that what it, yeah. That. He doesn't know a Zeppelin, does he? I'm joking. Wait, uh, wait. Yeah. That's not a bad one. My favorite uh, Les Paul riff, thanks for asking me, <laughs> is... Uh... <laughs> oh, wait. I mean, in my opinion, that's the greatest riff ever. Just my humble opinion now, people might moan. I don't think I disagree. But Easily you know recognizable. But anyway, so what have we got here? Today we have our new CME exclusive Gibson USA Standard Les Paul 50s and 60s. Uh, you have there the... The Dirty Lemon Burst. Yeah, uh, with the 50s. With the 50s neck profile, which is, it might feel kind of thicker at first, but I mean, it feels fine to me. You know, it's comfortable to play, I like it. No, we really yeah. like that finish on that one. Now this, I believe, was based on uh, one of the most popular kind of exclusive models, custom shop models that we had here at the shop. I yeah, I think it was a, an old faded cherry burst from the 50s. Yeah, based on that, right? Mm -hmm. Based yeah, on that yeah. one. Yeah, this is probably my favorite finish of the two, personally, but I mean, that looks great. Yeah, this is the tomato soup burst, and this one is actually based on a 60th anniversary custom shop that Gibson put out not too long ago. And uh, this one's actually just a little bit more vibrant, a little brighter. Yeah. We went a yeah. little deeper uh, and more vibrant on the color on this one. Yeah, looks great. Mm -hmm. And it's got the uh, the slim taper, yeah. slim taper neck, and I'm a big fan of that slim taper neck. But uh, what's special about these is that we uh, we swapped them, the pickups. Yeah. They are not the typical burst buckers that you'd be used to in these models. These are uh, T tops. T tops, and they sound great. Oh, they, they, From what they we sound do great. Yeah. <laughs> So the pickups, we've got these T-Type pickups. Now, we had these in our exclusive SGs uh, from a while back, which were great. And now we're delighted to have them in our own exclusive uh, Les Pauls as well. Yeah, and it's a little different because you you typically expect uh, something like a burst bucker or just a regular old yeah. I'll set of humbuckers in there. But we uh, we decided to throw the T-Types in there. Uh, yeah. Got a little bit more a little more bite. Yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah. you know, I don't know if you know this. Oh, here we go. A little uh, fact. Jimmy Page did the same thing in his number one. He did all right, didn't he? He did. He, he did. knew that. He, <laughs> he knew that. Right. He did all right with that. I'm a big fan of the T-Types because uh, I'm a huge ACDC fan, and that's ah. what Angus Young played in his SG. So to hear that kind of translated over into Les Paul, it's, yeah. it's a lot of fun. It sounds great. Who are your top three Les Paul players? Ooh. Um, Putting you on the spot again. I'm gonna go John Sykes, Jerry Cantrell, and Jimmy Page. Not bad. Triple J's. Not bad. For me, Hendrix. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you had me. I was like, wait. <laughs> no, I was waiting for it. There was no reaction. I was like, what? I got Page. I got Slash. Uh, I don't know. The third one's a bit tricky. There, there is, you know what? There's some cool clips, actually, uh, of Wes Montgomery playing Les Paul. 
which maybe not a lot of people know, or a lot a lot of people have seen that clip, but clip of Wes Montgomery playing a Les Paul, uh, which is incredible, and obviously Eric Johnson. Yeah. Uh, when he was with, what was that singer? Uh, Your Soul, Link? Carly Simon. Yeah. Uh, yeah, when he was playing with her. And there's a clip of him playing a Les Paul as well, it's phenomenal. Um, but yeah, but there's plenty more. <laughs> So just to recap on what we got, so I've got the Dirty Lemon Burst, which is probably my favorite finish of the two. And it's got the uh, the slightly thicker 50s carat profile neck, uh, which feels great. Uh, what you got again? It's the uh, Tomato Soup Burst with the Slim Taper neck profile, both mm. with the uh, the T-type pickups in there. Yeah. And we're, uh, we're super excited to have Les Pauls finally joining yes. our, our CME exclusive lineup. I mean, I technically don't own a Les Paul, but you know, maybe. I just got my first one yeah. uh, two weeks ago, so. Times now. You, you can get, get another one, right? Yeah, treat yourself. Yeah, the wife will be happy. Yeah, I mean, I don't own one. Maybe now's the time. Come get one. <laughs>